The enlightened Kala Chakra is uh, uh, basically uh, the Tatangatangarbha. Uh, and the function of the Tatangatangarbha. So this is the most profound and extensive, so really uh, inconceivable and uh, indescribable. Yet, uh, we have to try to communicate in the human language and uh, also, we created a, a representation that is the Kalachara Mandala. So, when we try to understand the Kalachara Mandala, 636 deities and a few million uh, primitive deities, this is a, you can understand in a more profound way, but also. Usually people just uh, understand a more superficial way or just calculate in a way. But the most important we have to understand that uh, there's four uh, categories we can make. The first one, first one is the absolute uh, nature. Uh, so, absolute nature, another language called nature body. And then uh, the second one, uh, the wisdom body, uh, which means the ultimate wisdom. And, uh, and then the third level is uh, the immutable bliss functional. Uh, known as uh, Sambhogakaya, uh, enlightenment. Or you can say first one called Dharmagakaya, enlightened uh, mandala. The second one, you can say the Sambhogakaya, enlightened mandala. Oh, sorry, that uh, the third one. The fourth one, you can say, uh, the, manis, the manifestations, uh, diversity manifestations for all sentient beings benefits. So this is uh, the fourth level. Uh, these four categories, uh, everything. So no matter whatever appearances in the mandala, they all is manifestation of the Tathangarangarbha. And of course, have everything has a co correlation with our internal bodies and uh, the, even the universe, the external universe. So to understand in these connections is the most powerful spiritual practices anybody can ever done. Okay.